Hello everybody, my name is Chaos Duncan, and welcome back to Faith, the Unholy Trinity, where we are going to go straight in and play Chapter 2. Let's start a new game. Let's go! Hmm. We're of a different color now. And our crucifix is brown, not gold. Father Garcia, you're hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative, of the a representative of the church is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation compensation in return for their discretion. Oh, what have you done to Michael? I didn't think we were getting into that sort of scandal here. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome. Cardinal Gifford. Oh dear. That's serious. What have you done, Garcia? What have I done, Garcia, I suppose? One day. Okay, these are photos of, I think, Michael. Two weeks. Oh dear. That's not good. Three... It's the month. It's the fucking. It's the thing. It's the thing that we shot at the end of the first chapter. It is. It's Michael. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Oh, it absolutely is. It one hundred percent is. I need to make you bitter first. Oh dear. Oh, my if you find it to be people. Okay. Get the oh that doesn't look good at all. Uh It was! It was! It absolutely freaking was. Alright, oh, ran away. Michael ran away. Oh, and he's out. Yep. Yep, so that's what it was. So that was Michael. Oh dear. Oh no. What have you done? I have someone in the pit. You can fight from both people. You shall bring the wrath of the Almighty. Damn. Goes hard. Just fucking. Getting out of there. So three months of that. Three months of hell. 2am. Oh! And we are back to John, I think. We have a silver crucifix this time. Have you forgotten already? The notes people leave behind seem to exist on the edges of memory. Pressing the escape key or the start button is a good way to remember what you don't realise that you have forgotten. Notes. Okay. That's like a note reading thing. I guess should stay on the... Dear. Oh, dear. That's fine. But I should stay on the lookout in case of anything bad. Poor dear. <laughs> I really hope that the thing is helping with the audio uh, spiking when I sneeze. I hope that my broadcast is working there. Notice, aviso. The current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Are we going to the graveyard? That seems like a poor idea. We're going to the graveyard. This seems like a really poor idea. 
Oh, and the gate locked behind us. This is a exceptionally poor idea. Anything particular? Oh, this one is particular. I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long-lost friend. This is the... This is the tea, isn't it? Like, or rather, it sounds like Sati, it sounds like the Nocien. Whatever. Dearest disciple, Verily, not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer, shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. You must then walk among the children of men as his demon. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Return to the Save Family Tomb whenever you are in need of rest, Gary. Enter the Spirit House. Also, the Save Family. Oh, hello, sirs. Um. Hello. Oh, what? Um. Okay. So I need the key. I need the key. Okay. Right. I have a few possible directions I can take. But yeah, it sounds like... Well, look, I did music for five years. Like, I think... If anyone has the uh, authority to say pretentious things about music, it may as well be me. What the fuck? Wentz. Oh, that was close. Ooh, what the fuck? Pro gamer skills, of course, but what the fuck? Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried for, about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's houses. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there, and it wasn't actually him. But I tried to run the close to the basement door and lock me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom, my stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have to, a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. Oh, and they no longer have heads. So I'm here investigating a satanic cult after all that happened with Amy. My main question is why? Wait a second. This looks like a maze. Ah. 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 Let's try that. So right, up, left, up. Let's give it a shot. Right. Up. Left. I saw something. Ooh. Take that, sucker. Yeah, you will. Nice. Big brain. Biggest brain. Gamer moves. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. No more hiding my bruise and cuts, no more pills and needles, no more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day my body withers away, but by night my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge, guided by beings of pure darkness. I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon's seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawn the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First to the top left point and then down. 
to be ba 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 no ba 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 one two three four five okay i'm done i'll lure them into the woods then i will show them my power apologies okay cool Let's go ahead and save in the save crypt. Like so. Ooh, you're still not happy. Uh, let's go over to the right now, see if there's something over here. Ooh, it definitely looks like there's something over here. There's someone bearing a cross. Okay. Moving or not? What's going on over here? What are you? I'm gonna crucifix you! Oh, it opened the door. How useful. Fair enough. Why did you make me do that walk then? Why have you moved? Motherfucker, what? You fucking what? It is with great sadness that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin, 38, and Robert Kimball Martin, 40. Devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. These are Amy's parents. Okay. Their lives came to a tragic end on September the 21st due to an accident in their home. Bob was a training advisor for the US Navy, and Cindy was a CPA and more recently a stay at home mother. They were married the 12th of March, 1960, sign, 1969, in Voluntown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. Public closed casket funeral will be held at Tillingham Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial service will proceed shortly after. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter Amy and twin boys Nate and Jason. Yeah. Oh god, that thing with the red footprints behind me, that that was that's creepy. Also because it didn't do anything. I'm a oh dear. Uh Power of Christ. Whoa. Oh what? That's the first death of the run. Okay, do I just like start again from the Chapel? No, I start again from here. Okay. Cool and good. Do I need to recollect the note? I do, in fact, need to recollect the note. Okay. So if I die again, I'll just skip this part. But for now, let's go back and try again. See if my pro gamer skills hold up. So that first time didn't work well. Okay, this time we're gonna crucifix it. That didn't work either. Cool. More it is. Be right back. All right, round round three, you umbilical bitch. What if I do just dodge? And give it a wide berth. Ah. That was an awkward place for it to come from. Right, it's time for round four. I don't need to hold it on for that long. If it comes from down below again... Nope, it clearly is coming from up above. And we dodge. And we land a cheap shot. And we go around. Nice! Nice, we got him this time. This time we got it. That was complicated. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. 
Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is just stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctor's. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday I was shocked and I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Yeah, Gary signed the other letter as well. The letter that was giving us the instructions of how to uh, commune with Satan. So maybe there's something to that. Ooh, okay. Whoa, shit. Did I do that? Oh, I did! Am I just, like, missing an eyeball now? Ah! Gross! How do you have the key? Key is important. Whoa! Save family legacy. Solve the riddle of Gallup Cemetery. Okay. Cool. So that's the thing, like... The whole mystery around Gallup was the... Is this thing of you need to get... Through all these strange rituals. What?! Is that a treeman? I think that was a treeman. Um, I am going to attempt to crucifix every tree here until one of them reveals themselves to be uh, Martin Dreamman. Are any of you the tree man? Tree man! The power of Christ. You know what it does? It compels you. Power of Christ compels you to tell me if you're a cop. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I hath not seen her. Children fear her. I hath not seen her. What's over here? What? No. Don't trust this. I had to come back. I had to walk through the corn one last time. I wasn't sure what I would find. The dogs? The children? The thing that took them? It had been five years. I couldn't even find the little graves anymore. I just walked in the field until I found that stupid, grinning scarecrow. As I listened to the night wind blowing through the crops, it was like the scarecrow was mocking me. I turned to go back and that was when I heard it behind me. Well, it was more like I felt it. I didn't turn around. He just stood there. Me... The scarecrow and the doomed child. Finally, I mustered a tiny bit of courage to immediately and turn to look. It immediately fled in the opposite direction, crashing through the rows of corn. I ran too. What little I saw of it drained the blood from my face and made my skin crawl. I say it because whatever I was looking at didn't have a face, just a bloody gaping hole. Sounds like someone else I know. Poor Amy. Okay. There's nothing particular over there either. Let's go in the house, I guess. Confess thy sins. That's your job, not mine. Day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we'd heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game we hadn't heard yet. Apparently it has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Also, we're going to try the game tonight as soon as I get settled in. Walk the church from room to room. It's a confessional here. Oh! Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. 
Uh, Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. I'm going to try and go in the confessional. Oh, I don't like I the red to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. Amen. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. A year later, the girl reached out to me again. Not In Amy. the end, I could save her. I no, left Amy. her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will hear in my penance. Uh. Read the child to me. Perform the sad of the adoration. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for him good. I doubt you, For his Ireland. mercy and yours forever. Hmm. I doubt that intensely. What? That is a crying Madonna. Crying blood. Night one. We still haven't found our way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we can't get some of these boards off some of the doors. But even that's not... That's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well, but we... But to us, it kind of sounded like laughter. Thank God we brought the mice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Okay. So now I can use that as... An extra little entrance point going further down. What was that? Okay. There's clearly got to be some sort of puzzle to do with these handles. Night two. We're going to be rich. We've caught super dolls from staff on camera, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off of shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while well, we were trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we could have got, got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. I don't think you did, from what I heard. Again, there's something there. I see it moving when I go into the room. I know there's something. I on a crucifix. Watch the candles. Yeah, I had a feeling. The candle's currently in the top right. It's following my position. Okay. The candle is following where I am. And maybe something else too. It's only one candle. It's following me. It's following me around now. Okay. Once you've been to every room, only then does it start following you around. Is, I think, the lesson to glean from this. Oh, why is there only one candle now? Oh, it went back. Do I need to get all the messages again? I do. Okay. So I need to be quick, I think. Like, more than just trying to beat her down with my crucifix, I think I need to be quick. 
Yes. I will watch the candles now. She's in the room! No, I need to beat her. Or I need to at least, like, shoo her away somehow. That seems apparent to me now. Okay, back soon. Okay, watching the candles. So where is she? She's currently down on the bottom left. I'm gonna meet her very soon. She's in the room to my left. I'm gonna meet her now, I think. Got her. And dodge. Okay. Who? So I'm gonna hit her while she's passing. Okay. And two. And three. A bit at a time. Just chip damage. <laughs> nice! Gotta! You need a God of Davida, baby. Okay. So we've actually fulfilled that. Now what? Now what happens now that the spindly lady isn't around? I don't know. Was there a crowbar I was supposed to pick up? No. Yes, maybe. The stairs opened. I knew there was something here. Darkness surrounds me. Who's watching me now? Reach the basement. This is my final memoir. Hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she awaits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now, the hands don't move past two. God's work can be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shrine, shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark. A foolish old man, going mad in this dark prison. He is bleeding from the screams of the demon. Okay. Okay, that looks like an important pattern. I'm going to take a photograph of it. Okay, I've got the photo here on my phone next to me. Okay, yes, I, I saw it the first time. Okay, so. Um. Cool. Great question. Uh, I don't know where I'm meant to go. But, again, I think there's something important to do with these. Oh, shit. Okay. So clearly there's some sort of order that I need to respect here. Okay, so... Two arrows... Down. Nope, no, 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 okay. One, two, three, four? No, 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 no. I don't want to know what's back there. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Holy shit, that was close. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. Is this kind of, does this make sense for now? Yes, it does. Four, five, six, seven, yep, eight, nine. And it through. Mother of Demons. Okay, that took a second. It went 
it started at one of them, and then it went around in like a semicircle pattern. It followed that little chart. It's just there were three of them that weren't supposed to be followed. So it was like the ones at the top. Oh, we're back to the Moonlight Sonata. Which means we're probably back at Amy's house. Deer! Deer! I want to go with the deer. Oh dear. Three murdered in the latest wave of ritualistic killings. Sterling, Connecticut. The bodies of three young people were discovered in the woods outside of Sterling last night in what authorities are calling a ritualistic murder. Sandra Atwood, Angel Nogales, and, Tro and Troy Inglis are the names of the unfortunate victims who were apparently stabbed multiple times and beheaded before being killed in a paganistic ritual. Beheaded before being killed? How? Pandemonium Regnat. Two of the victims' bodies were also partially burned, although the authorities did not specify who. The bodies were found several miles from Gallup Cemetery, where residents reported that two had been desecrated. They also found trails of blood leading off into the woods. Investigators would not comment on whether or not these two incidents were be related. Ah, my face is all itchy. Ugh. The arrangement of the bodies in a ritualistic pattern, as well as the writing of certain symbols in blood matches the style of several of the murders that occurred in the Sterling area since 1986. The killers may be connected to last week's brutal slaying of Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl by John Ward. Ward had impersonated a priest to gain Amy's trust before luring her into the woods and killing her. No, 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 no. No, I did not do that. I did not do that. Investigators are asking residents to report any suspicious activities to the police. Authorities are urging the people of Sterling to not mourn the loss of Atwood and Giles in English because, after all, they were degenerate, devil-worshipping thugs who were hooked on crack cocaine and hated their parents. Why even conduct an investigation at all? That's what you'd like them to think, wouldn't you, John? They were just these three pathetic outcasts who got what they deserved. You actually did the community a favor when you found them getting high in that tomb. You stalked them through the graves and killed them one by one. You ignore their cries for help, their pleas for mercy, you put holes in the ruined drug addict bodies, and then you chopped off their heads because everybody knows that removing the heads is the only way to kill a snake. Well, guess what? You didn't kill the snake, John. You cannot kill what cannot be killed. Thou shalt not raise up what thou cannot stop put down again. Thou couldst not kill any, Amy. Thou shalt not destroy my works, for they are the works of the eternal dragon. Even now she is at the die door. Her hand is at thy throat, that you see her not. I have thy soul, for I am the god of this world. Pandemonium reign at satani vitae, pandemonium reign at satani vitae, etc, etc, etc. Oh, shit. Pandem- Oh, that's rumble. That's rumbly. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. 666, yeah. Okay. In a Petrine cross. Again, that's like a- Like, not again, but like- I'm here, John. Amy? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, no. No, 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 no. What? What? What the fuck? Oh, ooh, hello. This looks like reality. Um, you, you're fixing your car? Okay, I, I'm me again. I'm me again, and I'm going to the candy tunnel. Death awaits. Sewer count. I love that. There's a green eye. Uh, if you don't watch CV11, you should. Uh, the sewer camp's a reference to that. Two more dead discovered outside Candy Tunnel near Sterling. Two more bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch under Snake Meadow Hill Road outside Sterling. The notorious Candy Tunnel, known in the area to be a gap home to addicts, gangs, runaways, and the indigent, have been the site of several grisly murders over the past three months. 
Since May, five bodies have been recovered from the drainage ditch leading to the tunnels. Authorities are being pressured by concerned citizens to search the tunnels amid fears of possible connections to Joe Bauman, a.k.a. the Candy Store Killer, who claimed eight victims in Connecticut and Rhode Island over the past year. God, fucking... Stop eating my nose! Ah! Everything itches! God, tis the season! Aki! Is something interesting here? No. I don't know why my face is all itchy. God, I love how... Even with the 8-bit graphics, I can still figure out what everything's supposed to be. Like, that's the needle and everything else. Multiple officers wounded one day in sewer tunnel shootout. Law enforcement officials are reporting multiple officers down, including one deputy who was fatally wounded after the, an exchange of gunfire in the sewer tunnels near Snake Meadow Hill Road, also known as the Candy Tunnel. Witnesses say they heard the shots at approximately 10 minutes after the police raided the tunnels. A, su uh, a suspected murderer, Joe Balbin. Okay, the candy store killer was alleged to be hiding. This time it is not known how many officers have been wounded, although it has been confirmed that an officer has been killed. Officials are saying if Bauman are not saying if Bauman was wounded in exchange, and if efforts are being made to recover the casualties from the tunnels. Okay, I'm down here with a serial killer. Great, love that. There's something following me through the tunnels. Read. There's something to read here. Maybe down here. No, apparently not. Oh, there is. You. When you see it, don't move. Excellent. I will endeavor to do this. And stop. I'm just going to not move. I'm not going to move. Zen. Zen. Going to chill. Whenever I see it, I don't move. Okay, we're through. We got it. Nice. On the tunnel. Can I go in here? I can. I wonder if there's something important back here. Like, I know the trail went off to the right there, but, like, what is back here? Is there anything back here? This is as far as I'll go to hide my stash. Nobody goes past the first pipe. Nobody except those strange people with their bodies painted red and their eyes like animals. Twice a month they come and pass right through into the tunnel, deeper tunnels. Sometimes I can hear them yelling or chanting. Sometimes I hear something like an old woman laughing. Sometimes I hear things that aren't even human. Whatever they are, they sound really, really big. I will not lie to bless you, child. Fuck off. No, oh, trying to ambush me in the fucking sewer tunnel. Bitch. Okay, we found a little secret thing here. Is there something else I gotta do? I guess not. I don't know where I'm really meant to go now. Unless it's supposed to go like this way. I am! Oh, I'm so smart. When I was a boy, my nana used to tell me old legends about the dragons, trolls, and demons that lived up in the mountains of Norway. In those old tales, the people were never strong enough to kill the monster, so instead they would sacrifice one of their own to appease it, keep it satisfied. It was like a deal with the devil. And sacrifice One sacrifice per year so that the bear would not, beast would not come down from the mountain and slaughter the entire village in one night. There was no candy store killer. What we're dealing with is not even human. 
When I got separated from the other officers, I saw the damn thing dragging what was left of Jenkins into, down into its lair. That's what I understood. The bombs and the tweakers, the ones with grid and the child prostitute runaways. They'll eventually come back to the tunnels. They always do. It can have them for all I care. Nobody wants them around except maybe that thing. And I tell you what, I hope to God it never gets tired of them. Far out. I'm ready in case something else tries to hit me. Again, I feel like I should somehow be able to access that now, though. Unless there's something else I've missed. Is there something else I've missed? Probably. But then again, I'm a pro gamer. I don't miss anything. Well, okay. Let me try going to the left again and see if there's anything I missed. Oh! Okay, I found it. So there was the arrows going up here. I should have followed those immediately. Uh, no, I, I wasn't really sure about that, I'll be honest. But, like, now that I know, it's obvious. You know? Oh. Oh, I just like this intensely. Like, this is, this is awful. This is absolutely awful. I don't want to be here. Okay. Come back out of the tunnel. Nope. Let's go the other way first. Ah, it's even worse. Let's go in. Never mind. I take it back. Wait. What's over here? What's Is there something written here? I'm sorry, God, please save me. Okay, um... Sorry, pal. Uh, he's... You know, it's more of an ineffable sort of power, you know? Oh, shit. Will you please... Oh, I see you. Oh! That's right next to me. Okay. Slam him. Slam him with the vibe. Is that it? Is it gone? Okay, that's normally the sound they make when they're dead. Okay, so now I'll be able to navigate that dark tunnel. Who the fuck was that? They were leading me into the dark tunnel, obviously. Okay. Don't trust that. Never trust. Unless it says, don't look behind you. <laughs> If it says don't but look behind you, never look behind you. Normally that's in your best interest. Generally speaking. Also, yes, I am here. It's me, Father John Ward. I don't know what that said. Crashed your party. Enter the hidden sanctum. It's right. Okay. Whoa! Hello, twins from The Shining. They hate light. Maybe I can use the light to repel whatever that was. Oh, okay, there's like red ghosts. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, I'm so dead. Okay. Stay. 
Stay away. Okay. I hate this. I do just absolutely. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Okay. Right, going down. Something else I'm supposed to do or see? No, fair enough. Let's just go over here. Still locked? No, it is not. Okay, lights. Lights are good. Hello. Do my best. Yes, it's true. What happened to Amy? You are no murderer. God. Okay, Very good. good luck you do have God. Yeah. But maybe now her soul is at rest. Let I hope so. I really hope so, Father Garcia. Okay. Here it is. So I've got to figure out how to protect Garcia. Okay, 91st song. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. No. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror in the night. Nor no. Like a field darkness. Okay, I that's going to be my main thing. I'm just going to keep him away. Because I have made the Lord my refuge. No. For he shall give his angels charge over me. They shall bear I will protect Garcia as best I can. And I shall trade upon the serpent. Because I have set my love upon him. Therefore will he deliver me. Okay, you two get out of here. No. He will deliver me in trouble. He will deliver me I actually can help you. Okay. Hey, we did it. I managed to protect Father Garcia. I don't know if that's like a difficult thing to do or not, but like... I could say that as some achievements. Whoa! Get thyself hence! Be gone! Because there's no directional audio. I can't tell where she's coming from! Nice. Nice. Oh, shoot. Okay, tagged her. Tagana. 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 Come on. Double ups, boys. Out of there. Out of there. Mm. 
No shit. Where do I need to start again from? Okay, it's relatively quick still. Still keeping up that trend of the quick saves. Okay. Ooh, I almost thought that would kill him. Nice and easy. Quick little burst of damage. Oh no! No! But, but I managed to protect him up until now! No, you know what? No. 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 We do this together. Two. We do this together. Me and Garcia. We're the anti-monster crew. No! You can't just kill him like that! Unless that was, like, meant to happen, I guess. But it didn't happen last time. Like, that didn't happen. So, like, I'm confused. Is Garcia meant to die here? Shit. Like, I wouldn't think he's meant to die, but, like, he just kept dying. Both those times. Okay, let's try again. Like, see, he didn't die then. Okay, got her. I think he's just going to die. I think he just dies regardless of what I do there. Oh, when it starts chasing you rapidly, it's supposed to counterattack immediately. Yep, my bad. Okay. He's gonna kill him now. Yup. The pentagram pattern. Might do a quick chase now. Turn around and stun her. Not this time. Ooh. No, 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 no. Okay, while well, she's coming in. Nice! Don't you. What? Okay, and we're awake. Was it all a dream? The morning breaks. Was it all a dream? John, I can't do this anymore, I'm sorry. I'll always love you back, Molly. Yeah. Okay, so he was meant to go down then. I'm not going in there. Okay. Something bad's in there. Is there anything I can glean from other sources? Okay, I'm gonna move on. Oh, a letter. Release from release form. Subject: John Thomas Ward. Uh, date of release: 31st of October 1986. The 
This form certifies that the subject is hereby released from my care after having completed their required counselling and treatment to my satisfaction, with confidence that they are ready to resume their normal daily activities as a mentally stable member of society. Dr. James Spinell, PhD. Existing conditions, mild anxiety, acute coulrophobia. Isn't that fear of clowns? I mean, understandable. I have not... I do not believe in terror. But, like, I do have a bit of automatonophobia. Not a fan. Uh, generally scares me. Don't like looking at them. If I look at them, I get all pins and needles and, like, fierce skin feels weird. John, it is not too late. Your soul can still be saved. All is not lost. Please wait for my next letter. For now, I have many questions that need answering. In the meantime, be careful. They're watching you. Father Garcia. Okay. Hey! I, I don't know. What is real anymore. Yeah, that shit was wrong. Is weak, and I feel a dark shadow over me. Yeah, I was too. Yep. The boys, Nate and Jason. The Amy's brothers. So we, they're still out there. We need to figure out how to save them. Oh, the red car. The red man who talked to us. Gary. That's probably Gary, I think. Gaming over. Ending two. Road to redemption. These dreams go on. Survive the nightmare. Damn! Okay. Unlocked a few things. Backgrounds, effects, and play mode. Nice. Okay, it's doing this again. One second. Okay, so I went and looked it up. Uh, just to figure out whether the, that was the good ending or not. It turns out you can save Garcia. And you save him by when she... Miriam... Apparently her name is Miriam. When that uh, lady with the all dressed in white rushes at him, you need to stop her the same way she would when she was rushing at you. So I didn't get the best ending, but I still got the good ending, uh, a good ending. The best ending is still going to be, I think, the canon or something. It's the way that it went, that it goes later when we try chapter 3, but not much changes except that you've saved uh, Garcia in that fight, and that there's a different letter that you get, basically. What it is, I don't know, but I'm feeling really excited. Chapter 3 is going to come out on Saturday, that's right, it's going to be on Saturday, it's going to be the last video I do with my 3 week well, three video a week schedule, and then I'm going to settle into a new series starting next week. I'm going to do one video a week on Saturdays. I'm going to just try and keep myself to Saturday mornings for my videos so that everyone can watch them when they come out. I've actually been really happy that people have watched this series a lot more. Like the first episode of this went absolutely mental. It's the most views and the most likes I've ever gotten with and that's wild to me. That's really cool. I'm glad you all enjoy this because this is such a fascinating and weird and particular and unique. That's the thing. It's a really unique game and I adore it. Um, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. It really warms my heart to see views and likes on the channel. So please watch it, obviously. But if you liked it, leave a like. Leave a comment. I always love seeing comments under the videos. It really, it really is emotionally, um, it really helps. Just for my mental health as well. So I do appreciate that. And as always, I will see you all in the next and final chapter of Faith, the Unholy Trilogy. Goodbye.